My dear brothers and sisters, first we'd like to thank God for giving us a very peaceful, a very meaningful, a credible election last October 30. Amen. I think we did not hear any untoward incident related with the election of the barangay in Sangguniang Kabataan. And everything went peaceful and meaningful. And of course, we know that in every election or any kind of, of competition, there will always be winners and there will always be losers. But, of course, what is important is that even we did not make it, what's important is that we keep our, by, in our heart the desire to help and to fulfill and continue our mission. Sana po, tuloy pa rin ang ating serbisyo sa ating kapwa. Tuloy pa rin ang ating pagmamalasakit sa ating kapwa. Amen? Dahil hindi po nakikita, dahil meron po tayong estado o kaya we have uh, a seat on the government that we have to help. Kahit wala po tayong posisyon, we continue to help each other. The encyclical of the Pope Paul VI in 1975 of December, uh, this was about Evangelium non Shandi, which means... Evangelization, evangelization in the modern world, uh, it reminds us that, that our spiritual leaders, now, this time, in this modern world, people would like to see witnesses rather than hearing homilies, which means this time, Napakahalaga po yung pagpapalaganap ng salita ng Diyos na ito po ay nakikita sa ating patutuo at sa ating buhay. We all know that there are tendencies that we might be eloquent to preach. We might have the beautiful homilies and we fail to live our homilies every day of our life. Sinasabi po ng Santo Papa na ngayon hindi lang kailangan marinig, mapakinggan ang homily, kundi makita ang homily. May ko sabihin, the best homily that people would like to hear is in fact our witnessing of the Word of God. Amen? In our first reading today, we we'll speak about religious leaders that they were actually apprehended and also reminded because of they have been lousy, lazy, irresponsible, and they were not able to carry out their duties and responsibilities as priests of God. And this, he said to them, O priests, this commandment is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not lay it to heart to give glory to my name, I will send a curse upon you, and of your blessing I will make a curse. Because, you see, you have turned aside from the way. You have caused many to falter by your instruction, and you have made void the covenant of Levi, says the Lord. You see, the peace of this time saying that they were not able to keep the ways, but they show partiality in their decisions. They were not able to keep the will and mission. In our, gospel, in our second reading today, we would also speak about the very life of Paul, who was then an example of servant leadership. We know that how Paul lived his life and in fact, he was a servant leader that 
Paul lived his word and his life. In fact, at the end of the last days of, of Paul, he would say, be very Christosess. To live is Christ. It's no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. You could just imagine the total 360 turn away, turning away of Paul from sinful life. Now he, become, he became the follower and apostle of Jesus to the Gentiles. And Paul, who's an example of a servant leader, because Paul did not see his leadership as a privilege. Paul he did not see his leadership as taking advantage of being influential. Paul did not see his leadership as someone that he has to be on a pedestal. But Paul in his leadership was a true servant leader that he lived with humility, with genuineness, with faithfulness to the words and commandments of Christ. In our gospel reading today, we are being reminded that when Jesus said, do not be called rabbi, do not be called master, do not be called father, these are words of Jesus of reminding people that usually they are seeking status and entitlement of their being no, into uh, a status or someone is given an opportunity to lead the community. Even the time of Jesus, it was so obvious that there was already abuses of leaders because they are so entitled. They seek for status not to serve with humility and genuineness. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, in our gospel reading today, reminding us once again, the kind of servant leaders that we should be for one another. Although the tone, the theme of our readings of this Sunday liturgy would remind us first, our spiritual leaders. Kami po mga pare, ito po isang paalala po sa amin na kung saan ang aming pagpapalaganap ng salita ng Diyos, anaway higit sa lahat, ay makita sa aming patotoo at pamumuhay. It's so blatant and so strongly telling to us, leave what you preach. Do what you say. And most especially, leave what you you preach in your homily. Di po ba, no? Sometimes we are very inspired by law, by, by, by eloquent speakers. Sometimes we are inspired, impressed by, by good homilists. But at the end of the day, the great inspiration is in fact when we see the homily by the priests. Amen? Yung bang people today, especially young people, they don't only want to hear, but most, they want to see what they hear. Which is, it is more on well done rather than well said. And this is not only for us, but even to everyone, to you parents, to you those who were elected officials, and those who have this uh, gift and responsibility to lead, that we should always do what we say and let us live what we preach. And let us also walk our talk. Because sometimes, most often, we fail to live what we say and we fail to practice what we speak and we say. 
And this is our Lord Jesus Christ trying to tell us today when he said, The scribes and the Pharisees, they have seat and of, they, they preach but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry but lay them on people's shoulders but they will not lift a finger to, to help them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. And they love to sit in honor of backwards. Places of honor at backwards and seats of honor in secret groups. And greetings in marketplace in the station of Rabbi. Which is telling to us that the same. That often we have this human tendency same as the scribes and the Pharisees, that we fail to live our, our life and also our words and also our promises. As we have just had a very meaningful election and we had newly elected officials, I think this is also time to remind them that they should also live what they promise and practice what they have uh, uh, campaigned on their platforms, especially in the last election. And here, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all once again reminded by our Lord Jesus Christ not only us as your spiritual leaders, but all of us, that we will always learn to live what we preach and also to live what we have said. And that let us also make it a point that our life must be a witness and a concrete witness of God's love and mercy. At the end of the day, my dear brothers and sisters, what really gives an impact and also that would really influence other people, inspire them, is that they see what we say and they see what we believe too. Let us therefore once again be reminded of this, that in this life, it is more on living what we say and doing what we have said and that our life must be a living witness of God's love and mercy. Amen.